Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this video we're going to be doing a solo high score of this week's Guardian Games competitive playlist, which is the new reprised arms dealer. What a mess they've made of that thing. Well, it's, it's not too bad. In the video you can see on the screen right now, I should be showing you all the mods. Uh, I'm using in all my armor and the weapons. All the good stuff for you guys to have a look at. I'm going to go through some of it in a, a bit more detail here. Now, the chest plate, I do switch out. I've got a chest plate with triple solar reserves on to match my heavy. As soon as I load in, as soon as I land in the strike, I change that to my proper chest plate. You still keep the ammo, so it's all good. I'm using the Unwavering Duty, which is the Trials Machine Gun. Now, I know some people will be saying, oh, I don't have that. The seasonal, uh, what are they called? The seasonal triumph? The seasonal challenge for trials this week, this season, rewards you with the unwavering duty. That's where I got this one. It's got auto-loading and adaptive munitions. It's not perfect, but it's pretty darn good. Uh, Staccato 46 and Weather Horde. I'm using those. Now, Rocket Launcher is the overcharged weapon. But I have to tell you, rocket launchers for me just didn't do it in this. The machine gun allowed me to move through the ads, the champions and all the rest of it at a decent speed. So, as you can see there, I'm starting with 455 uh, rounds. That's because I had the double chest plate on, uh, the, the triple solar reserve chest plate. Now, how we're going to get these is kind of pretty similar to last week. Anytime there's a champion or a yellow bar, we're going to emote and then finish. When at all possible, you can see he's ready to be finished. If you finish those two, kill the rest of the adds. There's only four other adds. Two snipers, two void shielded incendiaries. If you kill those and then finish those two, you'll always walk out of here with just under 11,000. Now, when we come out into the main area, I'm just going to speculatively put a weather horde into the middle and then another one down here to clear up these any of these guys that are here. But I'm really waiting here for the thresher. If you kill the adds the way I did at the start, you will get ability span. You'll get ability times four gold ability recharge rate, which should give you your super before you come out into this area. So the whole point is to make it down here. This is where one of your first yellow bars is going to be. In fact, nearly all your yellow bars can be taken from here. So I'll just emote. I have to say this, just, just for my own kind of edification. I'll just take those two snipers over on the other side. I'm not going to be, f A, I'm not going to be fi finishing every yellow bar. B, I'm not going to finish the barrier champion. When you finish the barrier champion, all the any ads that are still up will disappear. So you want to make as you know, kill as many of these ads as you can. Once you once so many ads are cleared, you get this kind of second wave. Now the second ad I'm got well I, I finished like two ads here, two yellow bars, but the second ad we're really gonna be we're going after is the void shielded incendiary. It's a big elite yellow bar. I'll just clear out all of these ads here. Be careful, don't let any of these guys sneak up on you. There he is. So I'll stick him with a Weather Horde. And then I'm, I'll just reload my Weather Horde shot here. He's gone down by the champion. There we go. Unfortunately, that will happen sometimes because you're not the only person shooting at these ads. All your new friends in this strike have decided to shoot all the ads and it can get really frustrating you can see there insult to injury there's, there's a couple of medals you get every time you finish a champion or an elite you'll see here when we go over here I've got my shackle grenade the shackle grenade is what's going to allow us to do a lot of this finishing so you can see I'll just stick him with a weather horde I'll stick his mate with one and then we're going to get this and this uh, phalanx down finish him he's a named guy so we're gonna get a decent score for him take those three snipers over on the right so we will be looking for the third one when 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 I when I kind of need to and there's your barrier champion there's a load of other ads here see what I'm doing is I put a weather horde down because I was I was expecting to get pushed 
Now you will you will get pushed by all these dogs. Weatherhorn doing its work here. And as you can see, we're getting rampage medals there. Multi-kills with the same type, whether it be grenades, whether it be a special, a primary, it doesn't really matter. Multi-kills also get you a lot of points. So, what I do when I go over here is I head straight to the far right-hand corner. That's where the barrier champion is. That's where the majority of the, the, the ads are right here. In fact, all but one of the ads right off the bat will be here. So what I will do is throw my super. Now, you won't always get to finish this guy. Because you fire your super, gonna take him out. But I have to tell you, I've I've done this where I've managed to finish that champion, and I've got a less lesser score. So again, not really too worried about finishing every single yellow bar. There's a bunch of arc shielded uh, colossus coming up. We'll get we'll get enough score from those guys. So once you once you dunk that, you've already got. A whole bunch of ads coming out. This kind of... See, there's a guy here. I'm going to shackle him. I can see that, that there's more ads. And then the... I'll just emote, get my finish in. And I'll get back behind here. The, there is a thresher in. And I found this really interesting about the thresher. Look how much damage the melee does. Now, if he hadn't moved, I would have meleeed the thresher to death. Five shots or something. He's, he's run away. I like to... I like to get him killed before he goes, but you can't, you can't always get what you want. So, here we go. I'm using my shackle grenade. And we've got to finish it. And I'm always dipping straight after I've killed him because there's about four or five of these guys. So we'll just get my grenade in there. Just I'm trying to clear some of the red bars. And then another shackle grenade. Now, unfortunately... Sometimes this will happen. That luckily that didn't actually kill him. But sometimes I'll just take out this thresher. Sometimes and it's you know it's it's worthwhile knowing this that because of the nature of strand, sometimes your strand abilities will will kill the ad before you actually get the finisher. It's not just uh, the other ads that are around, well, your, your uh, allies. So we've got an unstoppable, we've got a yellow bar. So I'll just do the finisher on him. I already stopped the champion. So I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to bother using my grenade. As you can see, I can stop him with a scout rifle. I haven't, I haven't equipped an anti-barrier weapon simply because the shackle grenade they as long as i use that and suspend them if you look at the fragments and the Thank you, the aspects that i'm using it's all built in to getting grenade back and keeping the mayor born because any ad that you want to finish you can isolate by making the mayor born very easily you can just stick them up in the air even if there's another ad you want to take out and there's a heavier ad that you haven't put down yet Throw the shackle grenade at a heavier one, and that allows you to take the next one. It, it, it's a really good, it's a really good utility for stopping, for finishing, and controlling the enemies. So, as you can see, there we got, we come out here with about eighty-six thousand. Uh, now again, I'm just going to throw my melee. The melee does so much damage to these guys, to these uh, threshers, and there we go easy money now there's there's a, there's a bunch of uh, gladiators and other enemies here don't go pushing up here too quickly make sure that you're controlling these ads because these ones are a little bit crazy so as you can see there because i got my melee off we've got those uh i can't remember what they're called actually because there's so many of the tangles and the swarms and but the the <laughs> The little strand things that come chasing after the ads. Once you get the melee kill, man, they just they just go nuts. Putting down a rift, obviously, if you've got the, with the fragment, putting down a rift will uh, give you a cup. I think I think they're called swarmers, right? Uh, and and they they do so much damage to anything they hit. Again, just be careful. Don't push up too close now, because you see, I'm trying to make sure I'm taking all the other enemies out. 
because the bo the, the the enemy ship at the back there once you get too close he starts popping off you can see now i've got a lot i had to go that close but uh once once you get pretty close they start firing volleys of solar rockets which i mean you don't want to be around them we want this guy to come here he comes so i'll do my emote finisher get a nice couple of thousand off that so i'm just creeping around here these two guys the last two um normally what i was doing was i was shooting the gun off that big ship but doing it just kind of creeping up and using the, the containers as cover you shouldn't be in any danger from from the the the, sh the, the rockets that the ship's shooting everything everything and it's the same with the, with all these kind of things everything that you're doing if as long as you're you, you know as long as you've got a plan as long as you're following a route or you're following a plan it's when you start winging it that things can go wrong and you don't know what went wrong so use the containers to get yourself close or just get the emote finisher you've got a little bit of leeway with this emote finisher it doesn't have to be you know immediate you've got like a second or two I'll just put a speculative up there see if I can take one of these ads I'm not too bothered don't be too greedy with the finishing if you're in a fire team then obviously you can split this up but this is you know it's a solo run so I'm you know I'm I'm, I'm I'm trying to show you guys how to do this solo you see there I'm getting snagged I'm just gonna throw my shackle up you now we want to get at least one finisher there we go now there's another you see I went up the the left hand side and there was a sniper there'll be another sniper which I've just killed there on the other side once you kill those then it's just you and and this boy here now I am gonna finish him but consistently I noticed and that, although I didn't actually get the finisher there I consistently noticed there's tons of times I didn't get any score from finishing him so you guys can test it in your own run but I don't think you actually get any score from him once you've slammed make your way into the tank room now the now with the reprised I really don't like the reprised strikes. Uh, Bungie would have been better just coming in and saying, listen guys, we ain't made a lot of new strikes for a lightfall, so hey, we've decided that you guys would like a new version of a five or six year old strike. No. So I come up here, you've got snipers that spawn in straight away. As soon as you get up here, there'll be three on both sides of these platforms. I put weather hordes down on top of them. And then the tank comes out and your super should take care of the tank if you are running this on Warlock. Let me know in the comments, guys, because that's the second week in a row I've ran Warlock. Uh, do you want to see this on a Titan or a Hunter? I'm, I'm, I'm down for whatever. The reason I'm running Warlock and not Titan is actually for Lance Reddy. I'm running it because he, although he has the, the voice of Zavala, uh, he actually, as a man, ran Warlock. So I am doing this in honour of his personal choice. So I, I don't mind doing doing more runs, another a hunter run or a titan run or whatever. So what? Once you take out the the snipers, and then you'll have all those gladiators. Once you kill out kill a certain amount of those gladiators, you're gonna get. Uh, your first, your first unstoppable, only unstoppable really, and you're going to get your barrier, as well as, so so, where we are now, the unstoppable spawns to the right of where we are, and the barrier and the rest of the incendiars, they spawn down at the bottom, down to the left of where the, this barrier is now. Once we take them out, you see there, you get a decent amount, and then just over nine thousand. Sometimes it's more, it seems. Once you take him out, this will be where your first set of ads come from. It'll just be dogs. Now you'll see here, it's, it's quite easy to just melt them and get yourself some creator makers and you know, 
just multi, multi kill medal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to drop a weather horde speculative and try and take these turrets. Not interested in the ads. I just want him to move. There we go. That's the last turret. And then speculative again. It's all speculative. These speculative shots into the pathway of the oncoming ad so that hopefully we can, we can do a bit of clean up with the, the weather horde. And then I move back over here because I, what I want to do, you see that the the tormentor, he's walking away. I want him to walk away. Right? Jump back up in here. I want to get these two ads, if at all possible, finishable. Accidentally cut my jump off there. Listen, it was a mistake. I never seen it. You didn't see it. Get up here, emo finisher. Accidentally hit the wrong button. You did see that, and I did, and I'm embarrassed, same as you guys. Take out this sniper over here, and once you take him out, there's just there's gonna be like a bunch of dogs. Sometimes they congregate over by the door I'm firing at now. Sometimes they come straight out and just scatter four corners of the map. Now what we're gonna do is break this uh break this uh tormentor's shoulders now you've seen there that that's is the 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 unwavering duty the the machine gun it's an adaptive frame it's the same frame as com commemoration stable as you like and it's, i don't even have a stability perk on it's just that stable now i did see something really cool it might interest you guys it might not i'm not going to do it here that when 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 uh when the, the Tormentor puts up his kind of Void Whirlwind, you can actually shoot that away. You can make it go elsewhere if you shoot it. I didn't know that. I'm going to get the finisher on on this uh, Tormentor, and then as you can see, I'm just... Got to watch out because you get another wave of these snipers. I've put down a Wither Horde, which, I mean, it wasn't very clever of them just to run through it, but hey... So, as you can see, that he was just a. I'm just going to try and clear up as many of these quickly as I can. This is the guy we want to finish. Get him down low. There's a bunch of dogs because you get what with this next wave of ads, this wave of ads that we're dealing with now, you get more dogs because why wouldn't you want more? We all love dogs, except for me because dogs made me out <laughs> for four months. Uh, so, now what we're going to do is just get out of dodge. It's all about time as much as it is points. Time is points. And as you see there, we keep getting that Master Blaster uh, medal. That is for, I believe, for grenade launcher multi-kills. So, Weather Horde's a good choice. Now, it's... I'm... I'm pretty sure, I thought it was like 20, because it's kind of weird, it's been, it's been kind of weird for me. So because this equates to a Legend Nightfall, I think, the time does, you get 20 minutes to score points at 100, well, as you can see there, 1.13 multiplier. And then after that, you score them at whatever, 65, it's half of that, 60, uh, 55. This will happen sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes the champion, one of the champions, if you push up onto this right side, I always do it to take out the phalanx. Uh, one of the champions, not always the unstoppable, sometimes it's the, anti the, anti the barrier champion, will come up here and just try and head you off. Now, you've seen them when we come into this room, and I'm sure I'm, nearly everybody knows this, right? Come up into this room and your boy, uh, Valus, w was on top of that tank behind us and he was shooting us. Then he jumps over here and he puts down, up, as you can see, he's over the other side. Uh, well, we've already dealt with, with, with what he's got over the other side. He goes over the other side and he puts down these turrets. Now, there's a different amount of turrets. It's not always the same amount. Just put the ref down and I'll walk get the finisher on the big boy clear up any any of these last ads 
uh, what, to get Valus to move out of the area altogether, you have to take down his turrets. Now, it used to be that you had to take down all of his turrets, but no, it's not always the same amount of turrets that he puts down, and it's not always in the same location. So it's like two or three turrets from each side. Uh, once you take them out, just take him out. Uh, he will then move to the next platform. This is the second platform we're on now. Take the turrets down here. He does the hop, skip, and jump. All the way to the top. Uh, one of the changes I believe they've made, although I'm going to be honest, I haven't touched this strike um, with any kind of serious... With any seriousness since they changed, you might have noticed on the channel, I have not been putting out solo nightfalls. Uh, I keep saying I'm going to put the video out about it, but we'll see. The truth of the matter is, I'm, you know, after actually doing this, this time, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't like the changes they've made. Maybe because I'm so used to almost still being the way that it was. Uh, I'm, I wouldn't say I don't like uh, Lake of Shadows. I wouldn't say that. I'm okay with Lake of Shadows. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, you know, for all the changes they could have make, made, I'm unsure who, who was commenting. Please, can you give us a reprised version of the arms dealer? You know, some new strikes would have been nice. And the new strike we did get was pretty cool. That, the, the hyper net. So, you see there, darkness uh, envelopes you. Is that what it said? Darkness envelopes you. That means we are no longer scoring points at 100%. We are now scoring points at 0.56, so half of what we were before. So you want to get the majority of your points in it before you get to this point. Because after a certain time, and I, th I thought it was 25 minutes, I thought it was 20 minutes to get to this point, and then 25, I'm just trying to take the gun out here, there you go, uh, I thought it was 20 to get to this point, and 25, once you got to 25 then you started losing points, but that's why I was saying I, I, I didn't finish my own sentence, where I said it's been really weird, it's, you see there we just get the finish on because we're only getting half points, I'll just melee this boy to death. So, let's talk about the differences between the way it is now and the way it was. They've changed up spawn locations that you now you do have to, you know, we used to do, a, maybe, that nah, was a cheese one. <laughs> we used to throw grenades under his thing, you can't do that anymore. I have absolutely no problem with that. Uh, the biggest change for me that they, they've done with, with the arms dealer as the, the, these allies now up at everywhere now if, if you're taking this as just a normal strike and not high score because let's be honest you know, we only get these high scores for especially on here we're only going to get it for one week out of 52 so if you're if you're talking about this as you know, an ult, uh, a strike, a strike that we've got the chance to play all year, and not just for getting points. Then, let's just get out here because those rockets nearly killed me. Then the allies are annoying because they, they budge out the way and stuff, but they're only annoying before you get to the boss. Once you get here, the allies are brilliant because if you're, if you're where I am now, the majority of the time, uh, Brachizan, I said Valus, didn't I? He's Brachis. So I called him Valus before. Uh, most of the time, in fact, 9 out of 10 times, he, uh, he won't bother with you. He'll go and fight all the other ads. That's really good. Unfortunately, this time, he started, I think he was about to do it, and then he teleports right over to me. Teleports. But I was kind of ready for it, because a lot of Destiny has been really weird for me today. So as soon as I've slammed, see the way that we've done that one? We used the left hand, as we're looking now, we used the left, where the left is, we used that left hand side 
as soon as we come up and we get uh, Brackus to move, you see here, he's, there he is. Did he teleport? I just lose sight of him. Just trying to clear, no, he, I'd start teleporting up here. Just put my well down. Here he comes to the right. Yeah, we use the, we use the save where the left is. Once we get rid of him, we use the side where the left is to take out that first wave of ads, take out the gun from the ship, and then we go and get the orb, go and slam it, go up the right hand side, this side we're just coming from, so that we can take out uh, Brachus's turrets and then do damage to him. And then once we get the orb and we take it over the other side, and he comes down off his second plate. We move back to the, 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 where we were there, left, the, the right hand side of the map. Take him out with a horde. Super. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like is always appreciated. Take it easy, and I will see you guys in the next video.